Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Today with Ward. Last week, what an amazing program with Dr. Lance Well now. And he is joining me again this week. We're so excited about what God's going to do on today's program. And along with Dr. Lance is my dad. My, my dad here on the earth. I am so blessed to have a heavenly father and an earthly father. And I report to both of them. And uh, he's here today to keep Dr. Lance and me in check. So praise God. Now, let me say this to you, friends. Why do we do what we do? It's because the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ is the answer for the world today. There's no other answer. Jesus Christ is the answer. And we wake up every day and we say, yes, Lord, to the mission and vision of taking this gospel to the ends of the earth. What motivates us, what encourages us is your testimony. Take a look at some of the testimonies from around the world of how God transformed, saved, delivered, and set free men and women through the media of God TV. Watch this. I was sexually abused at a very young age. So I just started running away because I wanted to go anywhere else but where I was at. I was searching for love. That's all I wanted was love. Our passion is connecting people to the gospel through media. I used to serve God like kind of faithfully. Then I kind of drifted off the path. At that time, I was, I was pretty much lost, really. God TV is a vehicle of hope, reaching those in the most desperate situations. I was literally struggling with my breath, and the last thing I could hear vividly was the doctor uh, screaming at the nurses that if another 30 minutes, this young man is dead. Through God TV, God brings salvation, healing, and deliverance into the lives of thousands of viewers around the world. I send the Word of God into your body. May it be life, may it be strength, may it be healing. God TV played 24-7. I was getting delivered. I was having encounters with the Lord through God TV. I was worshiping with Heidi Baker, getting healing right off of everything that I watched on God TV. The glory and, and the music and the preaching, they all came together. I reached out like this and I said, I want your glory, Lord. And then I, I weep. It, it broke the stoniness in my heart. She did put that car across the God TV channel and people prayed and asked God to, for me to be healed and I was completely healed. Today when I picked up the phone, I called and I told him, you know what, you have been healed partner with God TV and see lives changed to the outer ends of the earth. Well, I hope those testimonies were an encouragement to you as they are to all of us at God TV. Praise God. Dr. Lance, thanks for joining us again this week. Dad, thanks for being here. Um, I'm privileged to have you guys with me. Lance, I don't know if you know this, but my dad, he was, he's an honorary doctor. They gave it to him at the University of the West Indies one year. I was there and they had him speak. And he got up and he spoke, but he didn't speak. He preached. And he talked about <laughs> Jesus. He talked about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He talked about speaking in tongues. And I'm thinking, what on earth is he doing? And then he gave every one of the graduates, it was a couple thousand, a Bible as a gift. So they gave him a doctorate. And then um, the queen made him a commander of the British Empire. And then he was knighted. So, huh. so I have all of that to deal with in my life. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and now here with you, a uh -huh. double doctorate or whatever. So, so when you, but when you're knighted, you're, you're technically a sir, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, but I always call him sir. That was a problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> My wife calls me sir, at least. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's good to have you all on the program. Dad, thanks for being here. It's my pleasure and honor to be here with you and, and Brother Lance. He's a wonderful man of God, uh, a, a scholar in his own right and a gentleman. Yeah. And uh, I greatly admire and appreciate being with you, Lance, this, e you. this day. And uh, it is a, a, a real uh, pleasure f for you to spend a little time 
explaining to Ward and uh, the viewers around the world your experiences and uh, you're a man of such tremendous courage. You know, he yeah. he spoke what he thought was the Lord had given him uh, a word of knowledge, word of vision, when it was so unpopular yeah. and so unthought that that could happen. And he wrote a book uh, before the elections. This this book, I encourage each and every person, whether you are for Trump or against him, for Democrats or for Republicans, it is a fantastic book. Uh, beautifully written, beautifully yeah. presented. Thank and uh, and I know it must have taken so much courage at the time, Lance. I was uh, flabbergasted by, as many people were, uh, of this great introduction of how you saw things unfolding. And um, I personally thank you so much on my behalf, on behalf of so many people I've spoken to. They really, really appreciated thank that you. book. And it should be made a... a, a, a uh, a, a book for the library for sure, and uh, it's a, it's a, I don't know if you. I thought you it. wanted to pull that book back at one point before it launched. Oh, huh? No, I, yeah, well, yeah, a week after it came out, I was a feast, during the feast of trumpets in Israel. Yes. And I got a guy comes in, pokes his head into a meeting I'm doing. He said, um, "Did you release that book?" I said. Yeah, just this week. He said, can you get it back? <laughs> I said, why? He said, maybe you ought to give him a break and I'll tell you. And I stepped into the hallway and he said, well, we just had this disastrous Access Hollywood video. Of the show. Oh, my gosh. I said, well, how bad can it be? And it was pretty bad. <laughs> and I went up to my room and I, I got on my knees and I said, Lord, it's like it's almost like out of a Bible verse. I'm in Jerusalem. I'm going, why did you let me be deceived? Mm -hmm. Did I not say, if this isn't you, take it from me? Mm -hmm. How many times did I say, please, <laughs> if this isn't you? I didn't yes. want to go there. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, I couldn't hear God giving me one ounce of sympathy. It was like <laughs> nothing. It's like the Lord yes. said, like with Joshua, mm -hmm. are you done? Get on your feet. Yes. Stop, stop whining. Wow. And then say something. Yeah. So I took my phone and started talking. And the Spirit of the Lord, I think, prop it's the nice thing about the prophetic culture. The yes. prophetic culture doesn't mean that we're all prophets for other people. But when the Lord has to fill your mouth, mm -hmm. you can count on the fact that it'll put the words in it that you need to say. Mm -hmm. And I just Amen. stood there with the phone in my face, hanging out of a window at Mount Zion. Mm -hmm. And I said, God knew what was going to happen. God yeah, knew true. exactly what was going to happen. And Donald Trump, remember, he was asked if he ever had to repent of any sins. He had no sins to repent of. Well, now he's got a sin to repent of. <laughs> and the only reason I can think of why God would let this happen is he can never take credit for getting elected now because he's a man who could naturally be very proud of himself and think yeah. he did it. But now he'll know only God could do it Amen. because Truth. this is his circumcision yes. before promotion. Mm -hmm. This is his humbling. Yes. Before I figured I'm so far out in the limb, I might as well double down on it. Yes. And, uh, but when I hit send, I was hoping it would just go to the people that bought the book mm -hmm. just to cover my basis. Right. But Ward, to show you what happens with the Lord, I never saw this happen before. When I hit send off of a phone with no marketing, it went to 3.5 million people wow. who watched it. And uh, then it went up to like 4 million. And I thought, Oh. What in the world? Now I was nervous because I really was, I was really just trying to cover my bases yes. and I had been prophesying twice as aggressively about what God's going to do. Yeah. I thought, I am so cooked. I am so done. Mm. If, if this guy isn't elected, I'm going to have to take up a job in, in stand up comedy or something yeah. else. I'm going to an wow. alternate career. <laughs> but the Lord worked no, it out. Was great. The point is, the Lord will give us, um, it, but it isn't always. The hard thing is the Lord doesn't always show us what everybody wants to hear. No. Yeah. It's great if you're prophesying a word people want. But what about yeah. the, the courage yes. to bear like Jeremiah, mm -hmm. a word that people don't necessarily want to hear, yeah. and to stay joyful yes. <laughs> even <laughs> though yeah. you're seeing a future unfold? That's the paradox, yeah. Yeah. and yet it's possible. Mm -hmm. So listen, these, mm -hmm. these, are, these are last days we're living in. Some people are tired of hearing that. We've always heard that. But the Bible is, it, it, there's a plan unfolding and we're seeing it taking place. And the fact that you were in Jerusalem at that time, you know, it was also strategic. The, mm -hmm. the fact that you're here today, it's not by accident. We believe everything in God TV is divinely orchestrated. Mm -hmm. God has you here today for a purpose. And uh, we believe that God has you watching today for a purpose. What has God given to you that the enemy has told you to shut up about? 
What is he scaring you about? What is he trying to run you off about? Listen, God has a plan and a purpose for you. Today's show is not about us. It is about you. Mm -hmm. In this first segment, we've got a few minutes left, but just talk to our viewers for a minute and encourage them to know these days we're living in, and they have to get involved with, for their nation's sake. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I'm, what's coming to my mind right now is a very interesting experience I have with an English tech consultant, a guy that helped develop laser-guided missiles for the, um, for the British mm -hmm. Air Force. And he said, uh, he was at my house visiting, and I had to leave because I had a calendar commitment to go to a meeting. I had to fly somewhere and come back. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like it, and I felt like it was an imposition. But to your point, God really ordains our going out and coming in. And yeah. if we really surrender our life, right. even the things that we think are random or interruptions, actually have to look for the fingerprint of God. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was like, the Jew, you know, Jewish term is kvetching. I was kvetching. I said, Nick, I'm so sorry. I've got to go. I have to leave. I made a commitment. I got to stop scheduling these things. And so uh, he stayed at my house mm -hmm. and I flew. And he's an intercessor and a businessman, which is a unique combination. And he just recently started asking the Lord to open his eyes to see. And he started seeing angel activity, and, wow. and it was new to him. And so I flew off to my meeting, and he said, he leaves me a voice message. He goes, Lance, uh, I, I hope you're doing well, but I want to explain, I tell you something that happened. I was at home in your house alone with just me and the cat, guy with a cat called Lucius, but Lucius. Yeah. And I walked into your office, and I was so surprised there was a group of angels yeah. in your office in, like they're having a meeting. And I looked at them and I said, what are you doing here? Lance is in Carolina. You need to be with him. And immediately they shot right out. Yeah. Oh. And he said, but I said, I, I just believe the Lord's going to start to do some things. And, wow. Uh, wow. but right away the Lord convicted me uh -huh. because I, I realized I was going on an appointment yeah. and treating it like it wasn't part of God's plan. Wow. And I had angels assigned that weren't operating because I had bound their operation wow. with my own unbelief yes. and negativity. Wow. So my, dis Jeez. my attitude and my yeah. words were hindering the very spirit that was spirits that were sent to, to accelerate wow. a breakthrough. Yeah. Yeah. Really. And I'm telling you, things shifted once they arrived, but my gosh, I'll never make that mistake again. I don't wow. think. Yeah. Beautiful. Good word. Praise God. Well, Good listen, word. we're going to have more with Dr. Lance Wall now and my dad, Kiffin Simpson, Sir Kiffin, <laughs> right after this. Oh. Sign up for our God TV daily email newsletter seven days a week. Details on the screen. You'll receive inspirational articles each day, as well as updates from God TV, programming alerts, and special offers. And as a welcome gift, you can download a free ebook from Bill Johnson entitled The War in Your Head. Sign up online today. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Every day, the gospel is being shared with millions across the world, breaking down dividing barriers and uniting people together in common purpose. In a world filled with uncertainty, war, famine, and political unrest, sharing the truth is more important than ever. Let the whole world hear it! Jesus said! Become a partner today and see God's truth continue to reach living rooms and lives across the globe. Go to www.god.tv slash donate or call the number on your screen today. You know, um, uh, here I am with my dad and with Dr. Lance Wall. Now, I was thinking, Dad, dear, during the break that, you know, I thank God for you and my mom that raised me up in the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But I remember that one thing you taught me from the young age, from a young boy, you always taught me to give. Mm -hmm. You taught me to be generous. You taught me to never not pay my tithes. And uh, so you're known around the world as a generous man and and, but I asked him one day, Lance, I said, how do you become a big shot? 
And he says, well, you start as a little shot and you keep on shooting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Say a few oh. words, Dad. Uh, <laughs> no, well, you know, we have all in our lives divine appointments. And yeah, uh, the Lord leads us, he leads us uh, through. But the one place in the Bible, and the only place in the Bible that he says, test him on this is on giving, on, 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 on the tithe and on the gifts, the Holy Spirit uh, will lead each and every one of us. Uh, and it's just to develop an a internal way to listen to those gentle nudgings of your precious Holy Spirit from the Almighty God. Mm. And uh, another divine appointment, of course, all through my life I have had them, but maybe the most important to date is being here with you and Dr. Lance Wallenau, Come on, Lance. a great <laughs> man of God. And uh, a divine again, appointment. A divine <laughs> appointment. On, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. And it's so nice to be with you, Lance. It is. We always meet at historic times. Yes, too. yes. True, true. You, please. Uh, well, I'm, th I'm thinking share about us. how, whenever the Lord wants to take us mm -hmm. to the next chapter, and we have a lot of people that are watching that are mm -hmm. seeking and pressing in, they sense change, and they want, they don't want to miss out on what the Lord's doing. Mm -hmm. And so part of the secret there is we always try to figure out how to be more, do more, or do something different. But most of the mm -hmm. time, the missing piece isn't you. It's mm -hmm. the person God brings into your life. Mm -hmm. So if you're, um, if you're going to be right. Esther, you need to have a Mordecai. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be Joseph, at some point, uh, you're going to need uh, a person to go to Pharaoh and say there's someone here that can interpret dreams. Mm -hmm. Our destinies are connected to the relationships that mm -hmm. God puts in our world to take us where we could never get on our own. Yes. And in that sense, I think that God's always keeping us humble because mm -hmm. it's not about our personal development. No. It's, uh, it's about our personal uh, authenticity. And then God develops other people around us that help us get where we've got to go. Yeah. So here's a great verse I was just sharing mm -hmm. during a break earlier. Mm -hmm. And that's when the apostles were being tried over the gospel. And it was mm -hmm. early on in the movement. Mm -hmm. And this is chapter four. So they've gone from being cowards to being bold, mm -hmm. which is what the power of the Holy Spirit will do. Mm -hmm. And when they had left their trial, they, uh, it says that being let go in Acts chapter 4, verse 23, being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders said. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord, and they basically start praying, and they're praying Psalm mm -hmm. 2, which is interesting. It's the mm -hmm. Psalm where Jesus is resurrected and promised nations for his inheritance. Yes. And uh, they're dealing with powerful political events. They're saying it was Herod and Pontius Pilate and the Gentiles together with the rulers of our people that conspired to assault Jesus. And yet, Lord, you overruled it all because you saw it mm -hmm. and you even went beyond it. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying is that when you find the company that God is calling you into, it enables you to access the anointing and the agenda of heaven at a higher level. Yeah. And so Sometimes when uh, things change and people and the past falls off and you have your expectation on something that didn't take place, it can create disappointment. One thing I've learned, and this is important for, I think, everyone to hear, David said, my expectation is of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because if you ever look to somebody to do for you a favor or help you out, or this can happen easily with nonprofits. You expect someone's going to help you financially. You can become bitter if they don't do what you thought they should do. And uh, I've, had, I've had wealthy people say to me on the other end that the, the negatives that they get when they don't do what people expect them to yes. do with their money. But here's what I want you to know. The Spirit of the Lord is releasing a fresh grace on us to look at him mm -hmm. as the one who arranges the appointment and the provision. Yeah. And if that's the case, then you'd never really get disappointed because mm -hmm. you're never looking for the wrong appointment. Mm -hmm. You're looking for God's appointment. And the True. company, I believe, right now is emerging. I think God's showing us new relationships. Yeah. I think he's allowing us to enter into new relationships. And out of that, we're going to see the one accord that the Bible says they were filled with the Spirit when they got together. Mm -hmm. You'll know it's the right company. 
So I almost send somebody saying, well, how do I know it's the right company? You know it's the right company because the conversation brings you closer to Jesus mm -hmm. and the anointing fills you when you're finished talking. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's Amen. good. Good word. That's like Ruth and Boaz. You know, Ruth, mm -hmm. she needed favor. She needed a divine appointment. She left her home to go with her mother-in-law, went to a strange land, prayed for favor, and ended up in the field of Boaz. Yeah. But she had to do something. She didn't just mm -hmm. sit there. She didn't just sit there and ask for a divine appointment. She did something. She mm -hmm. stepped out. Mm -hmm. And whenever she found favor with Boaz, she asked him, why did I find favor with you? And he responded, because I heard what you've done. Yeah. I heard what you've done. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe that, that God's favor is on you. Mm -hmm. I believe God's favor is on you, Dr. Lance. And, mm -hmm. and we're believing this year for the favor of God to be on you, our viewers. God spoke to me recently. He said, tell my people that I want them to walk in my favor. Mm -hmm. Favor is not blessing. I'm not talking about salvation. I'm not talking about blessings. I'm not talking about the grace of God, God's unmerited favor. I am talking about walking in special favor where the angel of the Lord comes up to you and say, hey, you who are highly favored. God wants to do that for you, my friends. I believe that, Lance, with all my heart. Mm -hmm. I do believe it. Yes. I think that favor, yes. we need to really come back and maybe sometime yeah. talk about it because favor 2.0 is probably the conversation because we've all talked, confessed favor. Mm -hmm. But there's a favor, I think, that, um, that comes upon assignments that's different than favor that comes on an individual. Wow. And when the Lord wants to put... Um, mega favor on a person. Mm. It isn't smearing them. It's putting them into the envelope of an assignment that's smeared wow. because the assignments are big marching orders in the heavens. Mm -hmm. and individual destinies are important, but assignments, so David got an assignment mm -hmm. because Saul didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And so the, the favor on David qualified him to enter into the assignment that God had favor on. Mm -hmm. And it multiplied his impact wow. and his challenges. Yes. Which is similar yeah. to what we're talking about with Very government good. and nations and yeah. presidents. Mm -hmm. You know, there's an assignment that God mm -hmm. has. I mean, especially with these judges that there's so many judges up for replacement here in America. Mm -hmm. Right. And around the world. Friends, you need to be praying. These are serious times that we're living in. These are not political times. These are governmental times. And God's timing. Yeah, God's timing. The Lord knew who would be, who would be in uh, he president at this it, time. Know? Sure. And he knew who would be there to appoint who. Yeah. And uh, it's, all, uh, it's all in his hands. We think we are the orchestra, orchestra leader, but we're right. not. He's still the we say, we say Lance, yeah, we say well. God does not <laughs> react. Yeah. He acts. Mm -hmm. He didn't react. I say, and no. I think Christians have to stop being nervous. I mean, yeah. we're, we are, I have to tell you, the one comment from President Trump that I was stunned by, he, he was meeting with some of us and he said, I meet with Christians, I meet with pastors, mm -hmm. I meet with leaders, and there's one thing that I've noticed consistently across the board. And I thought he was going to say, love, <laughs> faith, you know, they support me. Yeah. He said, fear. Wow. There's yeah. a lot of fear. So you think about this, not the best testimony if you want to evangelize someone into what you've got. Yeah. Um, thank God that Donald Trump admires and respects God and God's people so yeah. that he wants prayer and he believes in it, but yes. he notices fear. Now, yes. I would say this, too many of Trust. us want peace with the devil. And mm. what we really want to have is mm. peace with God, and that may create a controversy mm. yeah. with the devil. Yeah. Yeah. So when Jesus yeah. comes into the synagogue, True. everything was normal, yeah. the Sabbath before he got there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then when he shows up, <laughs> demons are screaming, Pharisees are scowling, yeah. this healings are happening, it's the wrong day for the manifestation, yeah. and there's Sunday. controversy. <laughs> you know why? Because the anointing stirs things up. Uh -huh. So I predict you're going to see a new cycle of protests and chaos in yeah. America yeah. because of the appointment of judges. Yeah. Anything that has the power at the gates of influence to mm -hmm. shape a nation mm -hmm. becomes an instant crisis in media. Mm -hmm. So Amen. what Christians have to pray for is not a president or a leader that doesn't have challenges or opposition. Pray for a leader who is doing things that causes the devil yeah. to get upset and God to be happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes as believers, we got to get angry, not joyful. Go ahead, Dad. We've yeah. got a minute left. Lance, uh, all through the scriptures, it, it shows how nations have suffered 
or being blessed because of the leadership. This yes. small group of people, today we call them the, the political class or mm -hmm. whatever the leadership is. And, uh, you, you know, we, 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 as the scriptures command us, we really need to lift our leadership up in praise and prayer and support and guidance and, and all of the people who are influencing him. So, uh, it, right on. yeah, do you have any word? Uh, since Pray you wrote for your book? rulers and those that are in authority that mm -hmm. we may lead a godly and peaceable life. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. verse you're, you're, yes. you're, you're really hitting. Yeah. And the key is that was the first century verse when the leaven was first going into the meal and they were literally dealing with Rome and yeah. Jerusalem. And the worst at the time, Nero. And, and the worst at the time. Now, 2,000 years later, yeah. there's a thing called Christian civilization. Churchill referred to Europe as Christian civilization. Yeah. That means the leaven has gone in. Yes. So now we're not just praying for rulers and those that are in authority. Yeah. We're praying that God raises up righteous people, including believers, yes. to stand at the gate. You know, we have more Christians in the American Congress right now than in the history of America. Really? That, Beautiful. You don't hear, you know, people don't even hear yeah. that. There's more Beautiful. born again because they're hearing the, the call yes. to sacrifice and serve. Yeah. It isn't an easy job, no. but they're going because they're hearing God. So Christians need to st not only pray for rulers, yes. but if you don't like the rulers that are there, listen to the call of God. You may be a ruler yourself. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We want your nation to be a sheep nation. We want your nation to celebrate Jesus. We want your nation to endorse the Lamb of God, the King of Kings. We want your nation to be known as a nation that fears the one true and living Amen. God. So right now we pray for our nations around the world. These 200 nations that God TV is in, we pray, Father, right now in yes, Jesus' Lord. name, that you would do a powerful Amen. work. And Lord, for every viewer right now, Lord, we thank you for them. We bless them, friend. We love you. We bless you. We're out of time. Thank you, Dr. Lance. Thank you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Listen, until next week, we'll have Lance back again. But until next week, tell somebody about Jesus. Thank you for watching Today with Ward. Please join us again next time. In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. Please email today at God.tv. Also, please consider becoming a God TV partner. For more information, visit God.tv.